Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. In this video, we are going to look at a new item that's just come to market. It's actually two items from Custom Interiors. We are going to put some new custom leather floor mats in my C8. Let's go. Now I partnered with Custom Interior to bring to you a first look of a brand new SKU that they have for the Corvette C8 floor mats. You can see them behind me there, they are all red. So it's gonna be bold and it's gonna be beautiful, but we're gonna try them out. I've worked with Custom Interior before. We did a full revamp of the interior of my Ford F-150. We put seat covers throughout the whole truck. And I have to tell you, it transformed that truck. I went with the black with the white stitching. It was a honeycomb pattern, but it really updated the interior and it was actually more comfortable after they were installed. The fit and finish were perfect. So hopefully we'll get the same results with these floor mats, but let's take a closer look at them. So here we go, we got the honeycomb pattern with the red stitching separating each of the honeycombs. This is an artificial leather. It's not real leather, it's artificial, but I'll tell you it feels nice on the hands, feels durable, the stitching's all reinforced. The whole idea behind these is to keep moisture off of your carpet. So on the back here, they got kind of a felt backing on them. They got nylon reinforcement here for all the seams. They seem well built. As you can tell, they are already molded and cut for a precision fit. They give you a 100% Fitbit guarantee. If you have any questions or concerns, Custom Interiors recommends that you reach out to them in case you are not satisfied or have any installation questions. You can see this is for the driver's side. Makes sense because there's room for the accelerator there. Your brake pedal will come down here. You have your dead pedal right here, so the cutout's there for that. We have some notches here for the emergency door levers on the C8. So it looks like they're going to be a well-planned fit. Now, if you're wondering about custom interior or you never heard of them, don't worry. They've been around since 2010, doing this to customize your vehicles. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Don, the red might be too bold. Maybe not your style. Maybe it won't match your interior, but that's okay. Custom interior has you covered. They got options. We got the black ones here with the red stitching. So I'm gonna install the red ones. I'm not sure if that's what I'll end up keeping in there. Maybe I'll go this route. I'll decide that at some point, but we'll install the red ones because I think it'll be easier to see on camera as well. But I'll have a set that I'm not gonna be using. So I'm thinking maybe we have to do a giveaway at a later date. So keep that in mind. Let me know your feedback in the comments once we finish this up. But let's get started with the install. I wanna make sure you get the best vantage point possible. I'm gonna take the roof off, put it in the back here, let some natural light in there, and then we'll get this install going. Now, if you see water droplets and stuff like that, it's because I rinsed the car off. If you're new to the channel and you haven't been here before, this car has a temporary winter wrap on it on top of some paint protection film. So in some of the door jams and stuff here, where you see the white and the red kind of come to an end, that's because I just wanted the vinyl to come around there, close the door on it, you'd never see the rest. I'm actually changing this livery or vinyl wrap, whatever you want to call it, in the coming weeks to something pretty exciting. But just ignore that. We're gonna focus on the interior here. You can see it's a little bit dirty. I would normally say vacuum that out. I'm gonna try and put these in on top of the floor mats. You might have to remove them. We'll see how they fit with the floor mats on top. I don't really know if you have to take them out, but we're going to see what the end result is leaving the floor mats there. But I wanna to get to the demonstration because I'm excited to put these in and see what they look like. So here's the passenger side one. What I'm going to do is make sure the seat is all the way back which it is. And then I noticed that there's the cutout here for this emergency lever right there. And I saw some pictures that show that this piece here is kind of tucked in behind the seat a little bit. So I'm gonna fit these areas first and then I'll lay the footwell part in last. So to do that, I am going to fold the sides in first, kind of ball it up like that. I think that'll just be a little easier. And then that way, I can hook this in first right here. Fold this up, and tuck it in beside the seat, and then you'll see that there's this curvature here from this plastic that will rest in there once I lay everything down. Okay, I think we got it. I'll move the seat up a little bit. See how that tucks in there nicely? 
but that fits pretty good. Let's go on to the driver's side. Now same steps, I'm gonna make sure everything is back. Looks like it is. Again, I'm not taking the floor mat out. I haven't vacuumed it yet. That one seemed to fit okay on top of the floor mat. So I think we're gonna be okay not having to remove the original carpet mats in there. Again, these are designed to keep the moisture from transferring through and getting your carpet wet. So with this one here, when I install it, I'm going to worry about this corner first again. I'll probably have to worry about where the pedals go next and then this piece last. I'm not sure, but it's really not that complicated to figure out. Well, I think that's it. I think it's in there properly. I don't think it looks too bad. We got the rubber mat here for your heel so you don't wear a hole in it. And I think it looks pretty good. Definitely looks custom. Definitely check out custominterior.com. They have a lot of offerings for a lot of different vehicles, not just a Corvette C8. But I'd like to thank them again for helping make this video possible. If you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing, and we'll talk to you next time.